Since the 1990s, the security environment of Southeast Asia has seen both continuity and profound changes. Tensions and sometimes conflict remain an issue. In and between the 11 states in Southeast Asia, the rise of China as a regional military power and its claims in the South China Sea has become an increasingly pressing security concern for many Southeast Asian states. Since the South China Sea re-emerged around 2008 as a hot spot of simmering conflict, the perceptions of growing insecurity, conventional wisdom has held that tension in the area is driving an arms race among its littoral countries. With this growing concern in the region, the Philippines is boosting its coastal defense, which is now pursuing to acquire a medium-range ramjet, supersonic BrahMos cruise missiles, for the first Philippine weaponry with deterrent capability. In this video, we will see how did the Philippine Army and Navy come up with going for India's BrahMos missile system, when several other countries and companies are offering similar missile systems, and looking at how much it cost, how many units will there be, but more importantly, we will look at what it is capable of, and when we could see it in action. Mark the nearest 330 for 62, low state 301 Freedom Marshal, K3 Recovery, CB1 Approach, expected final bearing 331, altimeter 3001. 301 Marshal, 170, 24 Angels, 9 Earth. In 2013, the Philippine Army brought up the acquisition of the shore-based missile system project. The plan was to go with the Israel military industries, coastal and island defense system, which consists of fixed and mobile firing stations and support systems, like the Lynx MLRS system. The Israel Military Industries family of guided rockets has a maximum effective range of 150 kilometers. The project meant for the Philippine Army to hit naval and land targets from the shore. Being able to hit land targets means that it can also use beyond naval applications, like a precision artillery system for long-range engagements. The compatibility to use other guided rocket munitions from Israel Military Industries like the Acular rocket, as well as the Delilah short-range cruise missile, made it an obvious choice for any land attack application. But in 2015, the Philippine Army Commanding General canceled the shore-based missile system project in favor of using the funds to acquire other assets that will be useful for internal security operations like helmets, body armor, night visions, and firearms. In 2016, the Philippine Army tried to return it to the procurement list as the land-based missile system acquisition project under the administration of President Duterte. The land-based missile system was among those included in the 650 billion pesos proposal to President Duterte under the Horizon 2. Back then, the new technical working group was reconsidering the shore-based missile system project and saw the possibility of using Israel military industries offer for a system that can use for both land and naval targets. Israel military industry quickly revised their offering, now using the Lynx MLRS, extra and acular guided rockets, but now more intended against land targets, with secondary use against sea targets. The Philippine Army land-based missile system's purpose focused on precision strikes in highly populated areas, like specific buildings within an urban setting, or against hideout camps in the jungle. Aside from the Israel military industry proposal, the Philippine Army was also looking at other proposals, which include the BrahMos supersonic missile system, which was offered to the armed forces of the Philippines as early as 2016, as well as other land-based missile and rocket artillery systems. Unfortunately, in 2018, President Duterte made the in-principle approval of the horizon to budget of 300 billion pesos. The land-based missile system was not among those in the list, due to cuts in the original proposal, resulted in the land-based missile system being among those removed. But like all other projects removed from the list, the land-based missile system was in the so-called potential second list of Horizon to shopping list, with Horizon to already on its way. The Department of National Defense asked the armed forces of the Philippines to look at formulating a shopping list under the second list of Horizon 2, which they will try to process if additional or extra funds are available, on top of the 300 billion pesos. In 2018, President Duterte visited India, and the armed forces of the Philippines has already been looking at the BrahMos as a possible acquisition for land-based anti-ship missile batteries, as it started formulating its anti-access or area denial strategy. 
President Duterte also stressed to the Department of National Defense that he wanted to have an acquisition from the Indians as a gesture of friendship under his so-called independent foreign policy drive. Among those selected as a project most suitable to the award under a government-to-government -government deal with India is the BrahMos supersonic anti-ship missile as a land-based system. Surprisingly, both the Philippine Army and the Philippine Navy saw the purpose of having the BrahMos missile into their requirements. Thus two projects were born to fulfill an overlapping requirement. The Philippine Army Ray used the land-based missile system project, while the Philippine Navy called theirs the shore-based anti-ship missile system project. In 2019, President Duterte gave in-principle approval for the acquisition of both the Philippine Army's land-based missile system and the Philippine Navy's shore-based anti-ship missile system, with a combined budget for both exceeding 30 billion pesos. Both project procurements are under the government-to-government -government process with the Indian government. So far, the Philippine Army was more vocal about the plan to acquire the land-based missile system compared to their naval counterparts. It is only a matter of time before the Department of National Defense pushes through with the actual procurement phase for the Philippine Army's land-based missile system project. The main requirement of the Philippine Army was for the missile to be supersonic in flight. Western examples, like the RBS-15, Naval Strike, and others are subsonic missiles, meaning they only fly below the speed of sound towards their target. Meanwhile, the BrahMos is supersonic, which means it flies over or twice the speed of sound. While Russia also has supersonic land-based missile systems, it appears that the current administration itself was more interested in giving the land-based missile projects to India. And while Russia will get the contract with the Department of National Defense for something else like helicopters, because of CATSA sanctions, the Department of National Defense and the Philippine Army are wary of the possible effects of buying Russian kinetic weapons. And they believe going to India for a similar product like the BrahMos, developed using Russian technology, after all, would be safer to go with India's products. The BrahMos cruise missile developed as a joint venture between the Indian Defense Research and Development Organization and Russia's federal state unitary enterprise and the missiles made by the Indian Ordnance Factories. The surface-launched variant of the missile has the following attributes. Mass, 3,000 kilograms. Length, 8.4 meters. Diameter, 0.6 meters. Can carry a warhead of 200 to 300 kilograms using conventional and semi-armor piercing. A nuclear-tipped option is available, but will only be for Indian use. The Missile Guidance System. It enables the missile to achieve an accuracy of 1 meter circular error probable. The missile has the engines, first stage using solid fuel rocket booster, second stage using liquid fueled ramjet allowing supersonic flight. It has a range of 500 kilometers, although it would probably be reduced on the Philippine or export variant to just 190 kilometers, with a flight ceiling of 15 kilometers maximum during cruise phase. Flight altitude, capable of sea skimming as low as 3 meters, which happens during the final approach to the target. The missile goes to a cruise phase at a height of 14,000 meters from sea level, then drops to 15 meters in the terminal phase of the flight. It goes even lower to as low as 3 meters above sea level during the final attack phase to make it difficult to intercept. And with a maximum speed of Mach 3 or 3,700 kilometers per hour, Compared to most anti-ship missiles, especially from Western countries, the BrahMos flies at least three times faster, which enables it to pack a huge amount of kinetic energy that makes the impact more devastating even without a warhead. Ship armor or concrete structures would have difficulty reducing the damage due to that massive force of impact alone. Among the advantages of the BrahMos missile are the following. High lethality with greater effectiveness, land attack and anti-ship capabilities, Fire and forget principle of operations, multiple trajectories, large engagement envelope, waypoint capability, transport also as launching canister, minimum deployment time, high rate salvo, network centric architecture, maximum shelf life, comprehensive lifetime maintenance support, low life cycle cost, Brahmos Aerospace being a one point total solutions provider. Compared to most Western-made surface-to-surface -surface missiles, BrahMos Aerospace believes that their BrahMos supersonic cruise missile is three times high velocity, 2.5 to three times longer flight range, 
three to four times longer seeker range, and nine times greater destructive energy due to its speed and size, it is ideal against large warships like aircraft carriers, amphibious assault ships, and auxiliary support ships. The Philippine Navy under shore-based anti-ship missile system acquisition project is planning to acquire three batteries, and while the Philippine Army is looking to acquire two batteries, each battery has three mobile autonomous launchers, and each mobile autonomous launcher carries three ready-to-fire missiles housed in containers, and can be reloaded with additional rounds. India and the Philippines are reportedly planning to sign the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile deal earlier this year. However, the COVID-19 pandemic pushed back the signing until early next year. As the remaining issues need to resolve, the Army sees the delivery of the equipment by 2024 after the signing. With the Philippine Army fielding land-based anti-ship missile systems, it will have the capability to create area access or area denial zones, where an enemy or aggressor naval assets and even civilian shipping would have to be careful in using for access.